Welcome back, viewers. Today, we're diving deep into the extraordinary life of Francoise Betancourt Mayers, an exceptional businesswoman who rose to become the world's richest woman. From her family's iconic cosmetics empire to her philanthropic endeavors and the challenges she faced along the way, we're bringing you a comprehensive look into her remarkable journey. So get comfortable because this is a story you won't want to miss. Before we start, like this video and subscribe this channel for more valuable content like this. It all began in 1904 when young chemist Eugene Schwiller created his first hair colors under the brand name Oreo. Being a mastro of advertising, he swiftly achieved success and created new products aimed at improving the appearance of women. Francoise Betancourt Mayer's journey to becoming the world's richest woman is deeply rooted in the legacy of L'Oreal. Founded by her grandfather, Eugene Schuller, in 1909, L'Oreal's innovative products and business acumen quickly propelled it to international success, setting the stage for Francoise's path. Francoise Betancourt Mayers is a French businesswoman, philanthropist, writer, and the richest woman in the world, and at the number 11 in richest people in the world, with an estimated net worth of $90.5 billion as of March 2023, according to Forbes. She is the only child and heiress of Lillianne Betancourt and granddaughter of L'Oreal founder Eugene Schwell. Born with the advantages of wealth on July 10, 1953, in New Ely same France Francoise Betancourt Meyer's destiny was closely connected to her family's corporate domain, her mother, Laline Betancourt received the controlling stakes of L'Oreal from her father, Eugene Skewer. However, despite the glamour, the journey wasn't without its struggles. Lillianne was the wealthiest woman in the world when she passed away at 94 years old. Upon her mother's passing, Francoise Betancourt Mayers received the immense L'Oreal fortune. Since Francoise was Lillianne's sole successor, according to French law, she was entitled to at least 50s of her mother's wealth when she passed away. The path to success was far from smooth for Francoise. She faced not only the weight of her family's legacy, but also external challenges. The responsibility of preserving L'Oreal's reputation for excellence and innovation fell on her shoulders. Managing such a colossal enterprise brought its share of obstacles. Francoise's journey was marked by her resilience and determination. Her mother's passing in 2017 thrust her into a leadership role, and she rose to the occasion despite the doubts that loomed over her ability to fill such prestigious shoes. The transition was a turning point that showcased her strength in adversity. Beyond her role as an heiress and businesswoman, Francoise Betancourt Mayers is known for her philanthropy. She channeled her challenges into meaningful contributions, focusing on education, scientific research, and the arts. Her commitment to giving back added depth to her journey. Francoise's journey isn't just about business and philanthropy. It's also a personal one. She found success as an author, writing about subjects like Greek mythology and Jewish, Christian relations. These intellectual pursuits showcase her diverse talents and interests. Amidst immense wealth and status, Francoise Betancourt Mayers values her privacy. Striving to balance her personal life with her public role, she reminds us that success doesn't have to come at the cost of one's authenticity or private moments. And there you have it, the captivating journey of Francoise Betancourt Mayers. Rising above challenges, stepping into her family's legacy and embracing philanthropy, she's a testament to what determination can achieve. Her story is a reminder that even amid struggles, one can rise and make a significant impact. Thank you for joining us today, and don't forget to subscribe for more inspiring stories and insights. Until next time, stay motivated.